What is important in grip? The shuttlecock is coming all different height, all different speed. The impact point you are taking the shuttlecock is all different. For example, forehand, you may take it here. Sometime when you are late, you may have to take a side of it. Or shuttle may pass you and you may have to take a shuttlecock behind you. So even the forehand grip, when you are taking at the net, this forehand grip is different to when you are taking side of you. And this grip cannot be used if shuttle passed you, you cannot use the same grip and shuttle will go that side. So grip has to be changed even the all forehand side, you must have an all different grip for each shot. Backhand the same. I call it 100% backhand grip. Thumb is there, 100%. You use this one when you are taking shot in front of you. Bang. But this 100% backhand grip you cannot use this grip when you are taking shuttlecock side of you. Here, shuttle is there, use this grip, you can't, it locks. Can't go. If you try to go, you have to turn your rocket face. So shuttle will go out. Then, what grip you should use? Side, you have to use a neutral grip. But from neutral, a little bit more backhand side. Here, there. This finger position is different to when I am taking the shuttle in front. This is 100%. Backhand. This backhand drive, I call it about 60 to 70 percent backhand grip. You have to have this grip so your wrist works. Rocket face remains straightforward. The corner you want to hit, that can be possible. This grip allows you to do that. That grip, you can't, and it will do that. Now, if opponent had a good attack, shuttle passed you, behind. This back and the side drive grip not allow you to take this shuttle. If I try to hit it, it will go out. Therefore, when you are completely late, the thumb has to go here. This grip will allow you to hit behind the shuttlecock. Here, shuttle goes there, like that. If you look at from there, my thumb is there. Because my thumb is there, I can cross it, I can straight it, if you train, you can do clear from behind you, too. But this skill will not be able to do that if your thumb is a backhand, because uh, that will hit that side. As you saw, even forehand side, you have to change grip. Backhand side, you have to change grip. Furthermore, what I would like to say is every single shuttlecock requires unique grip for each one. Because each shuttlecock height, the impact point you are making is all different. Number one, that is the fact, but there are some players 
have a one grip and hit the forehand, the backhand, the front, the side, the back, every shot, try to make it with one kind of grip. If he or she does a 100 shots like that, only four or five shots may be right. 95 shots will be very poor. So the reason why I explain to you the grip has to be changed. Then, if you agree with me on that, when you are waiting opponent to attack, opponent to shot, you must have a ready grip. The grip allow you to change it quickly in any location, any impact point. Okay, how to do it?